I'm sure you like snakes. I just one love of your, them. One of your favorite things. <laughs> You know, finding a snake in your yard might be a little scary, not for Diana, but for most people. But what about a little double trouble? What about a snake with, say, two heads? Oh, I think I'd turn and run, <laughs> run the other way, like lightning. The Greenwood County family is trying to figure out how this is possible. But they've been taking care of this little guy for the last three weeks. So we'll tell you all about him. Fox Carolina's Dana Walker is just back from Ware Shoals. She's live in our newsroom with the story. And so you have seen this snake. Tell us all about this little guy. Well, guys, it definitely wasn't the big, poisonous, scary kind of snake. It was a bit curious, though, in the family. They say that they've got biology teachers in the area saying that it is strange but true. It's just creepy. That's all I'm gonna say. I've never seen one of those things. It's just creepy. It was kind of cool to me. Savannah Logan and her brother Preston have been amazed by this two-headed snake and showing it off at school since workmen at their home found it three weeks ago. Well, there was like that's weird. I like it, and then that's cool. And then one of them was like, "Can I have it?" A National Geographic article says two-headed snakes are rare, but not unheard of. They're formed like Siamese twins. Most of the time, snakes have um, two heads on the front. You know, not one on each end, so it's really rare. Tina Stewart's dad, Savannah's grandfather, took the snake to the Ware Shoals High School biology department. Teachers told him that this was a rough earth snake and not a baby. It was nothing they'd seen before. Two heads, two tongues, four eyes. One head is more um, bigger and one's more dominant than the other, but they both seem to control the body because this head, the main head, would do one thing and then the other part's trying to like go the other opposite direction. But there are some two-headed snakes that are just fakes. British newspaper The Guardian reported that the venomous yellow-lipped sea crate snake has a tail with the same coloring, shape, and behavior as its head. So it looks like another head at the other end, but it's just a camouflage tail to ward off predators. See it? That was possibly the second head's tongue sticking out. But now to the pressing question. What can we name it? I don't want to call it Billy Bob. <laughs> I'll just name it Oreo. Now, Savannah's grandfather didn't want to go on camera today, but he's the one taking care of it, and he told me that he has seen it wiggle a little and then stop and then change direction. The other head picks up and wiggles in the other direction. Diana? So you did see the second head do something? I mean, they talked about one being more dominant. Did you see, did it seem the same on both ends then? It was kind of strange. Part of the time, it definitely seemed like there really was only one head, but every once in a while, I would see it kind of move in a way that didn't look just like a tail. It kind of looked like a head, and I really think I did see the tongue sticking out, but I, I guess I'll never totally be sure. Guys. Okay, Dana, I have one more, like, kind of crazy question. We were talking about this on the set. How could it go to the bathroom? <laughs> did they talk about that at all? I know this is really out there, but, but this is what we wondered with two heads like that. Tell any idea? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm don't not know. an expert on this, I've but I, have a, here, I, I don't think that they go to the bathroom normally out of the tail. I'm not positive, <laughs> but right. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I don't know. That was, that that was Trent's be my question. Very it wasn't uninducated mine. Guess. Why are you know, These are the things that we wonder as we sit here, Dana. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much for clearing it up for us.